You've heard of Gary Payton Sr., but have you heard of Gary Payton II, his son? So, well, today I'm going to go over why he deserves more recognition and impact he's making on the Warriors. But before I get into that, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So, the Warriors this season have been really good. They're 21 and 5. No surprise, you guys know the story. Their offense is fourth in the league, and when you have a guy named Curry, makes sense. And maybe even more impressively, actually, is their defense. Their defensive rating is 99.9, and that's actually four points better than the second place team. And so I picked out these other stats because I thought they were impressive, but not only that, I wanted to explain to you how Gary Payton the second actually plays into these stats and how integral he's been in helping this Warriors team succeed. So this is Payton's player profile. He is 29 years old and he's had some brief NBA stints with the Lakers, Bucks, and Wizards. And he spent some time in the G League as well. So throughout his career in the G League and in college, he's won multiple Defensive Player of the Year awards. So defense has always been his calling card. And this season, He's been really great on that end as well. Even though he's only averaging about 15 minutes per game, he's averaging 1.2 steals per game. And then on offense, he's been tremendously efficient. He's shooting 66% from the field and 38% from three. And so this has really helped him emerge this season as a key piece for the Warriors. And then what was even more impressive were his advanced statistics. So out of the players that have played at least 10 games in the season and average 10 minutes per game, Payton the second is first in net rating, second in defensive rating, and fifth in true shooting percentage. So when he's on the floor, he's really helping your team win. So one of the things that really sticks out with Payton is really just his effort and his energy. Payton will literally pick you up and defend you full court the entire game, which is really rare for players to do. And so what this does is that it makes other players need to be in constant alert. And if they happen to be lazy, leads to steals. So as I mentioned earlier, Payton is very good at getting steals. And so I wanted to show you exactly how impressive it is. This chart shows the top 100 NBA players in steals per game during the month of November. So where is Payton on this chart? He's this red dot over here. So that means he's in the top echelon of players getting steals, despite playing significantly less minutes than the other players. And in fact, the players that average about the same amount of steals as him all play above 30 minutes a game. So now let me show you how he gets these steals. So first off, Payton has really quick hands and great defensive instincts. When players dribble, they really got to be careful. They got to keep the ball low to the ground and closer to their body. Otherwise, Payton's going to get that steal. And oftentimes, it leads to a lot of transition opportunities. And then you'll notice a lot of times bigs have trouble in the post when they're driving or when they're posting up against Payton because of his quick hands. And so even though there's a size mismatch, it may not be as big of a mismatch as people think. And then Payton plays the passing lanes really well. He has great instincts for where the ball is going to be and has the athleticism to get there. And then on this next play, you can see that he's able to use his athleticism and jump and deflect the pass and get the steal. One thing I noticed is that Peyton sometimes helps one pass away and sometimes that could lead to some trouble. So that's one thing to keep in mind as he continues to improve. And then besides getting steals, Peyton is a really good on-ball defender. He has good positioning, he keeps low, and he's able to keep up with any player. And then here, he's even able to guard someone as elite as Chris Paul, and he's able to go through the screen and still keep up with him. And then on this play, he's actually able to, again, keep up and get the jump ball called. So here is again showing you his on-ball defensive skills. He's able to shuffle his feet and change his stance pretty well. 
Another thing that's really good is that when the ball's kicked out during drives for three-pointers, he's able to recover really well. And then so on the offensive side of the ball, he's been tremendously efficient. So this chart shows the players with the highest true shooting percentage in the NBA. And right now, Payne is fifth in the league at 72.7%. And so I asked myself, how would this chart look like if we took out the bigs from this list? Well, it would look something like this. Yeah, Gary Payton is the only guard in the top 10 in true shooting percentage. The rest of the players on that top 10 list are all bigs. So now, let me show you how he's so efficient at scoring. And so, in these first couple of clips, you see him probing, going into the paint, making smart cuts, and calling for the ball when he thinks he's open. And because he has the speed, he's really able to get by a defender, especially when the defender isn't looking. And he's able to use his jumping ability to either dunk or convert on layups. And one thing that's co really come alive for him this season is his three-point shooting ability. He's a career 30% shooter, but he actually is shooting 38% from three this year. And he is really able to work well off of the other players on the court. He really knows his role and his teammates know where to find him. And then on this play, he relocates to the corner really well, which is a very important skill to have, especially on this Warriors team that passes really well and has a lot of offensive threats. And then another reason why he's so good and so efficient at scoring is the transition game. Usually comes off of steals or rebounds, and he is really able to take off in transition. And when it's an open court like that, it's over for the other team. And then you see here, he leaks out really well and in transition, that's a slam. And then he actually also gets a fair amount of offensive rebounds as well. Again, his hustle is tremendous. He's willing to battle down there with the bigs despite only being 6'3". And then honestly, he's also just able to out jump some of the players for the rebounds. And when you have a guy that size battling for it like that inside, that really just inspires a team. So if you like content like this, please do like and subscribe to the channel and I appreciate your support.